Welcome back, and today I'm going to be talking about, in this video, about the next 100 days. Um, last year I participated in the 100 day project from April to July, and um, I created all these little mini sketchbooks. Um, they're 6x6 six six square sketchbooks, and I created five with 20 page, enough for 20 days in each and that's how I worked my 100 day project because so I felt like doing it in little books like this would give me the motivation because I knew I would be finishing one quicker so I have books one through five from last year so I started on April 7th and the last day was July 15th. So, yeah, I really enjoyed drawing my day and playing around with watercolor and just, you know, recording the little things um, that were going on in my life. So, I want to do that again for the last 100 days of 2021 and so I'm starting tomorrow on September 21st and um, I will be going through what these are the ones that I made I made an extra one just in case because I really do like them but I decided I did it instead of doing a black cover I did a, these blue starry night star cover with some scrap of paper I got at Michael's and I thought it would be fun to do these because you know days are getting shorter we're just having more dark time and this would be a way of you know I don't know that was just my idea so I made my little journals with pamphlet stitch I used Canson mixed media paper Canson XL mixed media paper for this and cut down the 9 by 12s and cut it down to 12 by 6 and that's how I ended up with these I also ended up with some little sketchbooks similar to these these aren't these aren't cut down but um, similar to these out of the leftovers from this paper so I didn't waste any of the it was this strip that was 3 by 12 so I cut that 3 by 12 in half and made these little 3 by 3 little notebooks these were the ones I did from last year which I really didn't finish them up that well but that's fun um, they were just plate journals so that's what this is going to be. Um, I'm going to take you along with me. And I'll probably do a flip through maybe once a week. Talking through my week. But yeah, let's flip through a little bit of these. Um, my youngest daughter turned 18 in April of last year. So, you know, couldn't go to a restaurant. She was really looking forward to Olive Garden. So we did curbside pickup. I explored my supplies, but I still, you know, wrote about everything, drew things from my desk, different things I was doing, so let's flip through, that's April, we had May, so each book is like 20 days, so it definitely gives me something to know that I'm going to um, finish. And I really like this because it was really a way of keeping my memories. And like we went when the hotels first reopened, there was nobody at the beach, and we went to the beach for the weekend. So, yeah. So yeah, this is what I do during my drama day. Some of them are just like generic just drawing ingredients that really wasn't really detailed but then I have things where I get really really detailed like this so it just depends on what I'm feeling that day and it gives me a way to explore Sometimes I put what's going on in the world, sometimes I don't. Like, I put 
the space, the rocket launch, and you know, the black square. But yeah, so this is, you know, really detailed or really not so detailed. That's the fun part of this journal, that it's just what I'm going to do. So, that's it, and I start it tomorrow, or September 21st, whenever you're watching this video. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Come back and see me, and I'm working on getting, um, I'll have a class up on, over on my Teachable site with workshops by Kate at .teachable.com, and I'm doing um, a free workshop on different pamphlet stitches, so, yeah. Hope you come back to join me. See you soon.